what happens in Antarctica affects the whole planet. And what we do at the British Antarctic Survey is deliver and support science so we understand Antarctica better. By unlocking the secrets there, we have a much better understanding of how it impacts on the rest of the planet. The RRS Sir David Attenborough will be the most advanced polar research vessel there is. This is the first construction season we've had at Rodera. We are building a new wharf, which will be big enough, deep enough to take the new Sir David Attenborough when it comes into service. Planning logistics was probably the most important stage of this wharf construction project. When you work in Antarctica, uh, you have to account for every single nut and bolt to be on the supply vessel. The nearest hardware store is a five hour plane journey away, so it's very expensive and not easy to resupply materials. It took a full 11 days, working day and night, to unload the 4,500 tonnes of material. It was critical to complete this as quickly as possible so we could start deconstructing the old wharf. That process took about two months and involved excavating the rock fill material, cutting the steel piles, the internal tie rods, the use of an expert team of divers as well to carry out underwater activities, for example, cutting of the underwater piles. The main challenge to this project is planning your time to an extent where you can be sure that you're going to get your projects done within the very tight construction seasons that are there. The next phase was to start the construction of the new 74 metre wharf. The wharf consisted of a skeleton of 20 steel frames. Each frame weighs approximately up to 55 tonne. All the importance goes on getting that first frame in position. If you get the first module out of position, then it throws the whole structure off. These structures are 18 metres across, 10 metres wide, and they've got to be placed in a tolerance position within 40 millimetres. Within a marine environment, that's quite a tight placement. The first frame took us about 12 hours to install and secure, and then throughout the season we got a bit slicker at the operation, and now at the end of the season we've installed six out of the 20 frames. At the end of the construction season, we had to uh, winterize all the plant and equipment, also putting temporary steel sheet piles in front of the wharf to ensure that icebergs don't damage the skeleton frame during the, the cold Antarctic winter. The icebergs are interesting. They're a mobile mass that is a risk both during the construction period but also in the finished product. This has been a very successful season. We are very happy how the construction has progressed. The most critical thing to this very successful season we've had has been the teamwork and collaboration on site. BAS would help out BAM on some of their construction activities and conversely BAM were only too happy to lend their plant and labour to some of the BAS activities that needed doing on site. And this really helped create a community with no boundaries between the two teams. It's all a case of people sharing their knowledge, ideas and proposals and collectively as a strong team we come out with a solution that gives us the best effect. In addition to that, the partners have organised tours for each other around their respective work facilities and it's really helped build mutual respect and admiration which has been key to making this project work. Mm -hmm.